Welcome, 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 guys. Hello, Jason. Hi, hi, welcome guys to another episode of Motivational Monday, where each one teach one. First, I would like to say happy Valentine's Day to each and every one out there. Hope you're having a great day. Valentine's Day is not only one day for me. Valentine's Day is supposed to be every day. So just want to spread some love and joy. And to know, guys, that you are love and God is love. When you really think about, you know, Valentine's and everything, it's just about, you know, pure oneness and um, just spreading love to your family, your kids. You know, it's just a special day for, you know, the emphasis that they put in into Valentine's Day. Hi, Nicolette. Um, so yes, yeah, so all those out there who having a wonderful day, you know, love in the house, love in the house. We are often let down by the most trusted people and loved by the most unexpected ones. Some makes us cry for things that we haven't done, while others ignore our faults and just see our smile. Some leave us when we need them the most, while some stay with us even when we ask them to leave. The world is a mixture of people. We just need to know which hand to shake and which hand to hold. After all, that's life learning. To hold on and learning to let go. All right, so how you guys have been this week? Hope everybody having a good week. Uh, February is going so quickly. We were just in January. We're in February already. Today is the 14th. Time waits on no one, no one. It's just keep going by so, so quickly, quickly. But um, yeah. Spread the love, guys. Spread the love, you know. All right. So tonight, health tip will be kidney stones. And, um, you know, this affects a lot of people. Eh? Um, I know, especially in men and women, right? So we're going to just touch a little bit on it. Kidney stones are... Hard deposits made of minerals and salt that form inside your kidney. Diet, excess body weight, some medical condition, are certain supplements and medication are among the many causes of kidney stones. Kidney stones can affect any part of your urinary tract, from your kidney to your bladder. Often stones from when the urine becomes concentrated 
allowing minerals to crystallize and stick together. Passing kidney stones can be quite painful, but the stones usually cause no permanent damage if they are recognized in a timely fashion. Depending on your situation, you may need nothing more than to take a pain me medication and drink lots of water to pass a kidney stone. In other instances, for example, if stones become lodged into the urinary tract are associated with a urinary infection or cause complication, surgery may be needed. Your doctor may recommend preventative treatment to reduce the risk of recurrent kidney stones. If you are at an increased risk of developing them again. Kidney stones open pop-up dialog box. A kidney stones usually will not cause symptoms until it moves around within your kidney or passes into your urinaries. The tube connecting the kidney and the bladder, if it becomes large in the uterus, it may block the flow of urine and cause the kidney to swell and the uterus to spam, spasm, which can be very painful at that point. You may experience these signs and symptoms. Severe sharp pain in the side and back below the ribs. Pain that radiates to the lower abdomen and groin. Pain that comes in waves and fluctuates in intensity. Pain or burning sensation while urinating. Other signs and systems symptoms may include pink, red, or brown urine, cloudy or foul smell urine, a persistent needed to the urine, urinating move often than usual, or urinating in small amounts, nausea and vomiting, fever and chills if an infection is present. Pain caused by the kidney stones may change for instance, shifting to a different location or increase in intensity as the stone moves through your urinary tract. When to see a doctor, make an appointment with the doctor if you have any signs and systems that worry you. Seek immediate medical attention if you experience pain or severe that can sit still or find it uncomfortable position. Pain accompanied by nausea and vomiting. Pain accompanied by fever and chill. Blood in your urine, difficulty passing urine. All right, again, I'm not a doctor, but I'm just giving you a little, you know, Google, topic about kidney stones um i know one of my friends had it and and she had to have an emergency surgery it is very very serious so take care of yourself guys all right drink a lot of water betty and i see brooklyn locked on nicole thank you for locking in prayers going up to you betty and i hope you're feeling better today um yeah you know um if you not vaccinated guys it still have time to go out there get your vaccination um you know everybody body reacts differently so go out there and protect yourself and make sure you're doing the right thing and what is the right thing to be vaccinated and to just keep yourself safe and secure yes nicole how are you doing tonight um so i want to touch a little bit um today on um dealing with situations 
everyone deals with situation differently so my question for you guys tonight is when you, you're faced with a difficult situation what do you do and how do you um approach um whatever you're going through um participate and let me know how because we all go through different situation and different levels yes nicolette vaccination serious cause covid is real yes covid is real and we still have to be vaccinated and just you know we have elderly people around us we want to make sure even if they are not vaccinated at least you who are around them um you know for safety now just to make sure that they okay so in life we often come across some unpleasant things and sometimes they can be very painful and hard to endure yes we can all relate to that whenever we encounter things like this our heart can become quite weak we know that is something like that any kind of bad news right and we don't understand why does god permit these sufferings to befall us how should we face it in the life the creator arranges for people one of hardship or is it happy and carefree one of hardship the majority of people live life of hardship with too many difficulties and too much pain we all could relate to everyday life where we go through different levels and we have difficulties but how do we deal with it right and that's my question for you today my question for you is when you are going through a difficult time how do you deal with the situation what you think that or what is your process you go through in order to bandage your womb or talk to me tell me what what do you do nicole when you're going through a rough period i know you can have experience um like that good night yvonne sending love yes Mikael, thank you for locking in. How do you guys? I know particularly when we lose a loved one, that is a very difficult period in our life. And sometimes the pain don't go away. Sometimes we get a lot of reflection. For me, depending on the situation, I call up my prayer group and we pray that is what is a major part the power of prayer and uh, you know some people may not believe in prayer what other avenues that you go through and what do you call upon who do you call upon how do you deal with your situation the majority of people live life of hardship with too many difficulties and too much pain. What is the creator purpose in these arrangement? And what is the significance? In one sense, such arrangement are meant to allow people to experience and know God sovereignty. Arrangements and authority in another sense his primary purpose is to let people experience what life really is and thereby to realize that man's destiny is control in God's hand and is neither decided by any person nor change in the wake of changes in people's subject will whenever the creator doesn't 
and whatever sort of life or faith he has arranged for people, he makes them reflect on life and on what man destiny really is. And as they reflect on all these things, he makes them come before God. When God expresses the truth and tell people what all this is, he makes people come before him. Accept what God say. Experience what God say. Understand what the relationship really is between all God say and all the things people experience in their real life. So we go through life in different stages. And how I look at it, every level of your life, we go through a period. Sometimes we go through trials and tribulation. As a single parent, we are faced with a lot of life difficulties and not having that father figure around in our children's life and we have to take on the role of being both parents. It tends to be challenging at times and sometimes we get tested on all different levels and we have to be the decision makers in our children's lives. We have to be the example. We have to walk the walk and we have to talk it also. So I know sometimes when they come to us with different or difficult questions and things about their life, we have to put aside our life and our feelings and attend to theirs. And being in that position, a lot of us, Dan, you're not hearing me? Guys, you hear me out here? Hold on a second. Okay. Are you hearing me now? Nicole, you guys hear me? All right. Nicole say, I believe when we go through situation, it's to make us stronger because we grow. Yes. I believe, yeah, okay, good. So I'm good. All right, thanks. I believe too that when we go through situations, we we go through trials and we go through tribulation and God tests us. That is why we just come out and we have testimonies because we went through those things. So through our trials and tribulations, we have testimonies now that we could come out here and give our testimony to other people who may be going through a difficult situation. We might have walked that walk already. So we could say, hey, X, Y, Z is the problem or the situation, or you can handle it this way or like that, right? Now, again, for those that locking in, we are talking about when you have a situation, how do you deal with it? How do you handle it? Who do you go to? What you think is your source? Correct. And then we are able to help someone. Correct. Um, I think too, as we mature and we grow older, listening is a good way to start. Sometimes people doesn't listen. Sometimes other people crying out for help. But you're too busy and caught up in your own world that you doesn't give them the time to listen or as they may not want to hear or, or want them to give advice. Sometimes people just need a listening ear. So it's good to learn to listen. When you learn to listen and you learn to pay attention and you do not do things in wrath or you don't approach a situation with hastiness. It's better you just stay calm. Think about it. It works for me. And then draw your conclusion. But coming back to what Nicole say, we are 
prayer warriors. We are people who are praying soul. So if we have a problem, we tend to, you know, go to other people who we think could help us and strengthen us or hold our hand when we're going through a rough period. Because in life, we all have rough periods. We all have it. I mean, with, with COVID, with a lot of people who lost their jobs, with a lot of people who don't want to take the vaccination and end up now jobless. Um, a lot of people going through mental illness, depression, anxiety. Um, you know, it's a lot of factors now that people are dealing with. So what is your safe space? Where do you go and say, let me take a time out? I know sometimes, you know, we, we, um, we go to work and sometimes we have this one coworker who drives us nuts. How do you deal with that? You know, what is your approach? Um, in the last past two years, what have you developed? What skills have you learned to deal with people? Because dealing with people has become very difficult. You know, some people could understand and some people just can't. So again, I mean, you know, we, we, we really have to pray for one another, right? God say, and all the things people experience in their real lives, he lets people verify the practically accuracy and validity of these truths after which man gained them by acknowledge that he is in control in the hand of the creator nicole is saying for me having a disability was not easy growing up young and old will watch or laugh and I had many hang-ups, but I have learned to love myself the way God made me. Now I walk with my head high and I no longer let it bother me. I have learned to ignore ignorance. Nicole, I want to commend you tonight for coming out and let us know and um, for you sharing this that a lot of people laugh at others who have disability and they don't understand the circumstances and i know i feel your pain growing up and people watching and pointing and you know they just ignorant but i love how you say you have learned to ignore ignorance and peep, some people are always quick to judge others. And, you know, you see your neighbor house on fire, you wouldn't take a bucket and throw some water. You will watch it just burn down, you know. But thank you for sharing that and letting us know. Because a lot of people have a lot of disability. I had a niece. Um, she born. Um, her name was Lydia Worrell. She passed now. And she was a normal child. And when she was very young, maybe four or five, she contracted meningitis. And when she went to the hospital, she left, she went there as a normal child and came out a vegetable. And she lived um, bedridden, not able to talk, not able to walk, you know, and um, we, we end up losing her. So people sometimes doesn't understand what others going through and what burdens we have to carry. And I always look at myself and I look at my family and I thank God every day that I have the kind of family that I have. And I always thank my mother who is the pillar that keeps us together, always praying for us. 
and growing us up to know the word of the Lord. And up to this day, she will always give you a word, a good word from the good Bible, the good news, you know. So we all face with struggles out here. And, um, you know, we have to learn to cope with things. Sometimes it may be difficult and we may think it's, it's hard and we may think there's no way, but never give up the battle. God is always there to hold our hands and get us out of rough situations and rough paths in our life. Always remember that. Understand what the relationship really is between all God says and all the things people experience in their life. He lets people verify the particularly that he controlled in the hand of the creator and his destiny is ruled and arranged by God. Once man has any impractical plans for his life and he will not plan to go against the wishes of the creator, nor what he has ordained and arranged, rather he will have an increasingly accurate assessment and understanding of a comprehension and plan of how his life should be lived and the road he should take. Understanding. No one goes their whole life without suffering. I'll say that again. No one goes their whole life without suffering. For some people, it has to do with family. For some, with work, for some with marriage, and for some with physical illness. Everyone suffers. Some say, why must people suffer? How great it would be to live our whole life peacefully and happily. Can't we not suffer? No, everyone must suffer. Suffering caused every person to experience, right? The sensation of physical life. Whether these sensation to be positive or negative, active or passive, suffering gives you different feelings and appreciations, which for you are all life experience. If you can seek the truth and seek the will of God from these, then you will draw even closer to the goals given to you by God. That is one aspect. And it is also in order to make people more experienced. Again, that's what I was saying just now. We go through life in different stages, different levels. How do we deal with things? How do we react? How we react to bad news? How we react to failures? How we react to positivity? Some people can't show emotions. Some people just don't know how to, to um, to cope but I want you to know today once you trust and believe and you have positive people around you you will be able to overcome any obstacle in your way and speaking things into the universe I would say not all things good to talk my mother always tell me that allow that is because it's speaking things into existence so for example 
you may have a kid and you might say you're just like your father why are you speaking those things into existence you don't want that child to be like his dad whether his dad is good or bad you want to breed positivity in their lives as a young age you remember when we know better we do better so when we go out there speaking things into existence the tongue this is life or death so we have to be careful of things that we say and things that we do if you do not mean things you do not say things my father used to always say, you can't like me in the morning, you can't like me in the afternoon. It is what it is. You understand? So, we have to lead life living and remembering that other people, they're watching us. I'm not talking about people like people, you know, our kids, our families, our co-workers. So, we always want to, to do and be a good servant. Our job out here is to serve and we want to do it to the best of our ability, right? In dealing with any situation, even when you see the garbage collector, the male person, the hairdresser, the, the person who prepares food and you go and you buy, we have to do a better job in appreciating people and the things that they do because when you look at life we really can't do it or without a lot of these services sometimes i say or sometimes someone will say to me i don't take medication i don't believe in taking medication they rather take the pain and you know, my advice to them is be, what God make doctors and nurses and lawyers and police officers? He put people in place to help others. So sometimes we are so ignorant that we rather go through the praying and to know we could take a Tylenol or Advil or a leave to relieve some of our tense way that we have sometimes. So again, coming back to what I've said when I've started, how do you deal with situations when you're having a bad day, a rough day, a rough time, a rough month, a rough year? You know, how do you deal with it? And do you let the kids see you going through that rough period? Because children, what they see is what they're going to learn and they grow up. So, you know, we have to do better, I think, as adults. Um, we all can do better in in um, in our daily life, right? That is one aspect, and it is also in order to make people more experienced. Another aspect is the responsibility that God gives to man. What responsibility to undergo the suffering? You must bear this, this suffering. If you cannot bear it, then this is testimony. Face with illness. Some people are afraid others will find out. They think it is something shameful. When in fact, this is nothing to be ashamed of. When you're sick, a lot of people I remember when COVID started, they don't want anybody to know they contracted the Rona, you know, and they hide in and they shame. That's nothing to be shamed about, you know. As no, as a normal person, if I'm at illness, you are able to accept the various kinds of suffering that God arranges for you and are still able to perform your duty normally are able to complete the, comp the compression that God gives you normally, then this is a testimony. And it's something that shame and defeats Satan. And so any suffering should be accepted and submitted to by every created being. 
and every person. This is how you should understand it. This is in line with the will of God and it is God's intention. This is what God arranged for every created being. He's putting you in these situations and conditions to evaluate, to giving you a responsibility, obligation, and commission. And so you should accept them. It is not the truth. As long as it's come from God, as long as God makes such a demand of you, then it's the truth. Why is it said to be the truth? This is because if you accept these words as truth, then when you encounter an issue, these words will be able to solve your notions and rebelliousness. They will allow you smooth passage through these issues and they will allow you to bear testimony and not go against the will of God or rebel against God. If you are able to submit to the conditions and situations that God places you in, then you understand the truth. And if you can bear such testimony, then you bring upon shame to Satan. Right? In their belief in God, what people seek is obtain blessing for the future. This is the goal in their faith. All people have this intent and hope, but the corruption in their nature must be resolved through trials. In whichever aspect you are not purified, there are the aspect in which you must be refrained. This is God's arrangement. God creates an environment for you, forcing you to be re refined. Yes, so that you can know your own corruption. Ultimately, you reach a point at which you would rather die and give up your scheme and desires and submit to God's sovereignty and arrangement. Therefore, if people do not have several years of refi refinement, if they do not enjoy a certain amount of suffering, they will not be able to rid themselves of the bondage of corruption of the flesh in their thoughts and in their hearts. In whichever aspect you are still subject to stage Satan bondage. Nicole is saying I always find something to do to make my mind to take my mind off of problems. Baking, cooking and listening to music makes me feel calm and relaxed. I listen to a lot of music too. And I like to do crossword puzzles. And I like watching television. And I like audio books also. Um, but we have to really renew our mind to situations when they arise to, to let us get in a proper frame of mind to deal with situations and to understand the foundation yeah I think so only through suffering can lessons be learned only through suffering lessons can be learned it come like you know um, I went home um, a couple of weeks ago and my little niece Ayana I had a hot cup of tea so I say hot so I say touch it and she say hot you know um, so from young we have to teach them that you know Lessons can be learned through suffering. Sometimes we don't want to go through them kind of lesson too with suffering. Eh? Especially when you're young and you're growing up, adolescents, um, you know, they tend not to listen to their parents and then they go and make all these wrong choices and then they have to deal with it. You know, then they go to jail, then they have a record, then they have a felon, then they can't get a job, then, you know, sometimes children 
you know, only through lessons, only through suffering can lessons be learned, which means being able to gain truth and understanding God's will. In fact, many truths are understood by experiencing painful trials. Nobody can comprehend God's will, recognize almightiness and wisdom of appreciate God's righteousness dispossession when in a comfortable and easy environment or when circumstances are favorable that will be impossible these days most people who believe in God have yet to enter the right track and have not come to understand the truth so they will feel empty inside and feel suffering in life and they do not have the strength to fulfill their duties this is how god's believers are before they have a vision in their hearts such people have not obtained truth and do not yet know god so do not yet feel much internal pleasures you especially have all suffered persecution and experienced difficulty in returning home you you suffer and also have thoughts of death and an unwillingness to live this is satan the devil now coming into your mind with suicidal thoughts depression you tend to get to that way these are weaknesses of the flesh some people even think believing in God should be enjoyable. In the age of grace, the Holy Spirit still bestowed peace and joy upon people. Now there is too little peace and joy, pleasure like they are during the age of grace does not exist. Believing in God today is extremely vexing. You only know that the pleasures of the flesh is better than anything else. You do not know what God is doing today. God has to allow your flesh to suffer in order to transform your disposition. Even though your flesh suffer, you have God's word and you have God's blessing. You cannot die even if you want to. Can you resign yourself to not knowing God and not obtaining the truth? Now mainly, it is just the people have not yet obtained truth and they do not have life now people are in the midst of the process of seeking salvation so they must suffer some during this period today everyone throughout the world is tried god is still suffering it is right that you do not suffer without refrainment through great disasters there cannot be genuine faith and the truth of life will not be obtained not having trials and refrainment will not do peter was the ultimate tried for seven years after he was 53 years old he experienced hundreds of trials throughout those seven years he had to go through one every several days and only after undergoing all manner of trials didn't he obtained life and experienced a transformation to his dispossession. Thus, when you truly obtain the truth and come to know God, you will feel that you should be living for God. If you do not live for God, then you will be sorry. You will live out the rest of your days in bitter regret and extreme remorse. You can't die yet. You must clench your fists and result continues to live. You must live a life for God. When people have truths within them, then they have this result, results and never again desire to die. When death threatens you, you will say, Oh God, I am unwilling to die. I still do not know you. I still have not repaid you your love. I must die only after coming to you. Well, have you reached that level? You haven't yet, right? 
some people suffer familiar hardship and some suffer martial hardship. Some suffer persecution and do not even have a place to rest their feet. No matter where you go, they can only stay at the homes of others. And so they suffer in their hearts. Is not the suffering you encounter now that very same suffering of God? You are suffering alone with God and God is suffering along with people. Today, you all have a part in the Christian's tribulation, kingdom, and patience. And in the end, you will obtain glory. This kind of suffering is meaningful, but you absolutely must be resolved. You must understand the significance of today's suffering and why you must suffer so. Seek a little truth from this and understand a little then possesses the result of enjoying suffering. If you do not understand God's intention and merely remain of the suffering, then the more you think about it, the more distress you will feel. We all carry bet, Edwards, good night. We all go through some type of suffering and Again, I would say, how do you deal with it? How do you deal with your trials and tribulation? I know some of you, sometimes they feel like giving up, but we can't give up. We can never give up. We have to continue treading. We, as we go up one stairs, we have to climb our next one. We might miss a step, go back down. We have to go again. This is life experience for us. We have to just keep the eye, our eyes on the prize. We have to look at the end of the tunnel and we want to see that light to know that no matter what you're going through today, God is able, call upon him. He is our alpha, the omega, the beginning and the ending. Call upon him. He will help us. He will heal our hearts. He will heal the pain. He will direct our paths once we trust in him. I'm asking you today to trust in him. Put all your cares and suffering upon him. No man can help you. You have to trust in him. Cry out to him. You feel to cry, cry. Crying is good. I just always tell people that. Some people just look at crying as a form of weakness. No, crying is not a form of weakness. Crying is to get out that little tension in you. And then once you dry that tears, you could... Go again. So I ask you today, how do you deal with your pain? How do you deal with your suffering? And I always say, you might feel you having a rough day. What about the person out there who cannot walk, who cannot talk, who cannot, who don't have fingers, who don't have arms, who can't see, who can't talk? I mean, we have so many things to be grateful for. So... We all go through some type of suffering. But how we handle it, how we come out on top, how we come out triumphant and, you know, that's why it is always say again, you go through your test to have a testimony. You know, sometimes, you know, I was looking at um, this pastor and um, Facebook, her daughter got into accident, bad accident, nearly died recovered got into another accident this time she had broken bones but her mother was a faith believer and father faith believer and they prayed 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 and she'd come out and where she could have her degrees and be a doctor and you know sometimes we ask ourselves why we go through all these sufferings in our life why god testing us why is this happening to me why why it's a blessing because when we go through hurts and trials, it makes us stronger and it gives us that green light because we could see a lot of red lights in people. So I just always say it's always good to go through those red lights, proceed with caution, and you'll get a green light. So, you know... 
life wasn't meant to be easy and we all have problems we all have issues we are not perfect human beings we all have unresolved issues it's how we handle it sometimes you may never know somebody have problems because they don't come out and talk and those are the ones who just be suffering the worst because i would still say talk it out when you talk out things it makes you feel better and you feel stronger you know what i mean so regardless of who else is dying i will not die now i must to, um, continue to live now and all these must seen clearly truth must be understood from them when people have truth they have strength when they have truth they are filled with in excellency energy when you have truth they have will without truth they are like the limbs of dread of tofu with truth they are firm and embodied and they will not feel their suffering as suffering no matter how much they endure you understand so i hope you guys get something from this word tonight my word of the week is violation my word of the week is violation and violation is the action of violating someone's or something a breadth of a law or of a code of behavior when you drive your car faster than the speed limit when you read someone's diary this and this is an example of violation of privacy so from next month i will be giving away swag tickets every monday i'll give away two tickets and once you locked in you remember every week i give a word and you guys are supposed to know these words that have started from the first Monday of January. So we're going to start in March. We're going to have a trivia every night, every Monday when I come on from now till my swag event. My swag event is going to be on June 18th. It's going to be swag four. And stay tuned for more details. I want to say thank you. You know them. Nicole know them. Okay. <laughs> good. Nicole. That's good. Um, so I'll be giving away. Um, it's an all-inclusive event. You know, swag meaning sexy woman and gentlemen. Thank you for your support for the last couple of years. All who have been with me. And um, it's just bigger and brighter things. So, from March, I hope that you are writing down every week these words that I'm giving because I have all and I'll be asking questions on words and things that I have discussed. All right? So, that, stay tuned for that. That will be in March 2022. Um... I just want to say thank you thank you for taking out the time to hang with me every monday and you know someone asked me how um you know my 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 topics i don't deal with certain things when i first got the idea of doing this motivational monday it, it first started off with a morning prayer for those that remember every morning i used to come and give a little prayer and then I realized, you know what, I will do it in the afternoon. And that's how I, you know, came with, you know, with, with coming up with motivation on Monday. But also, too, I said that I'm not going to discuss any poli 
political stuff on my program. I'm not going to discuss people of fear on my program. I want to stay away from those things. And that is why I discuss other things and not people personal affairs. I think we as people try to focus a lot on people and their behaviors and I want to get away from that. This show is about upliftment. This show is about each one teach one. We could learn. I am here, I'm still learning. And I learn something every day from my program, from my everyday life, right? And we keep positivity. Yes, Nico. We want positive vibe always on this program. You will never hear me, even with my guests. I don't, I keep away from personal questions. I generalize what I want to. Because this is about motivating others. This is about letting people know that, hey, I can do this. I can become this. I want to be like this. You know, this is not about gossiping. This is not about getting into people's affairs and things. So you will never hear that on this program that I have on a Monday. This is about positivity. This is about upliftment. And we have to be positive. And we have to continue being positive and know that each one teach one. We can always learn, you know. You sure right. Stay positive, good vibes. Yes, yes. We have to. We have to, to be positive always. And, you know, we have kids. We have people out there watching us, you know. And we have to be doing the right things and not getting caught up too much with the cyber world and the cyber life and the lifestyle. We don't want to, we, we staying away from all of that. We're going to learn and we're going to teach each other. And that is how we're going to rock um, on this program. So for the person who asks me, that's my reason. And so far, I think we're doing a terrific job. Um, I hope again, um, our topic tonight was how do you deal with situations when you're going through a rough time. That was part of the way how I do things. We heard from Nicole, you know, being disabled and getting teased on. And through her life, she just don't study the naysayers. So that was a good testimony there to let people know that some people are different and we can't look upon um, others it our difficulties right we have to be strong and we have to encourage I want to say have a blessed and wonderful and safe week guys the hour is passed so fast I'm here right now on location in Bonnet Bonnet is a island out in it's just above Aruba and um, it's a small community. I'm going to post some pictures for you guys. Um, I have vacation. Um, some people ask me, I'm always on vacation, but I'm working for the airline. What are you going to do? Um, so we're here um, for a couple days and then we going on to Curacao. Curacao. And from Curacao, I think I might be heading to Trinidad. And from Trinidad, I think we're going to Amman, Jordan. So, yeah, that's my life. But, so I'm here to just upliftment. Guys, stay positive. Know that God is in control. Stay safe. Love you guys. Peace out. Peace out. Have a great week, guys.